I want to show you guys something I worked on over the week that I could not post yesterday because of the 1.16 news. But this is a world that is completely invisible. It's definitely not a completed concept by any means, but if you guys are map makers or mod makers, maybe this could spark some ideas for you. So the current world is invisible around you, but as soon as you start moving around, you'll notice that some blocks are appearing. Like this, a birch log, and then if I move a little bit closer, there is another block up there, and then another birch log, and then some leaves above me. So the world begins to materialize as soon as you start looking in the right place. You can actually interact with these blocks, you can break this log if you want to. Um, there is obviously grass, there's water right there. Um, that water is not going to update, but essentially what's happening is there is a world around me, but it will not show up. Well, <laughs> there we go. It will not show up unless you look in the right place. So it's a completely invisible world. There's actually an oak tree right here, right? There we go. So I have to move around it. There's a tree over here. There's another tree right there. Now, while I was making this, I thought there is another way to go about this, and that is allow the player to draw or discover the world around them while they walk around like this. So you can see that I'm flying around right now, which is probably the best way to do this, to demonstrate this idea, but uh, the world is not going to disappear. Or well, it does sometimes, but as the player travels or traverses the terrain, the terrain will materialize in front of them. So blocks will appear like dirt, stone. Uh, there's no stone right now, but there should be some over here. There we go. Um, it is an infinite world. Trees will start appearing. I can actually draw a cave if I don't travel too fast. If I can just go deep enough, I will find some ores. There's lapis right there. Y equals 14. So maybe I can find some diamonds. <laughs> diamonds not so important now. It kind of still is, but there we go. There's bedrock. So, you know, it's a very slow process. Lapis, iron. I saw coal before. There's coal. Essentially, the player can move around and discover the world as they move along. But as this is vanilla, it is completely ridiculous. But I wanted to try something like this out. But it's more of a mod thing. And again, as I have reiterated many times, I don't know anything about mods. So maybe this already exists. But I wanted to try and do something like this in vanilla. So this is how it all works. So... Where is my dude? There we go. So this guy is going to look around and see if there is land where I'm looking. So he is actually 10,000 blocks away. I need to go all the way over here. There we go. This is the land I was drawing. Um, I need to go to spectator. But actually the land is going to clone now. <laughs> so this land is what's been drawn. There's no pumpkin, obviously, because I couldn't find it. But this is exactly what's being drawn. But this armor stand is looking at this terrain as I'm looking around, and it's going to clone what it's looking at. Very tedious way to do it, but if there is a way to make blocks invisible, that's the perfect way to do it, but you can't. So, anyway, just wanted to break away from 1.16 for a bit. Uh, there's only been one video, but uh, this is what I was working on over the week. Did not expect 1.16 to come out in snapshot form so quickly, but thank you to Moyang for doing that, and I guess it's time to put on my game-breaking hat again for this upcoming big update, which is probably the biggest update Minecraft will ever see because of the hierarchy of ores completely shifting. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content. I don't know why I keep saying this. Take care.